Hello everybody. I want to do a really quick video on the 1951 Model L. I'm going to eventually try to get this tractor going, but today I'm going to steal the oil filter off of it and use this for my 1943 restoration. But before I go taking parts off of this, you know, I just wanted to do a real quick video on the routing of the oil lines on this tractor because like so many of the early Model Ls that still have the low volume oil pump, they're, it's just not plumbed correctly. And when I say plumbed correctly, I mean as per gravely the technical sh sheets, the technical you know, surface manuals that they've put out. Uh, they were very specific on how the oil lines are supposed to be run for the low volume versus the high volume pump. Uh, and as you can see on this tractor, it still has the low volume pump. And some of you have probably already looked at it. And first look, you see that it's, it's all done wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. So how these are supposed to be plumbed with a low volume pump is the, the line comes out of the oil pump. It's supposed to go to a T in the side of the block where the oil will, will feed the, uh, the engine itself. And then from that T, it's supposed to go to the input side of the oil filter, come out of the output side of the oil filter, and then go to the pressure relief valve right here, and then the oil will return into the, into the transmission over the top of the four reverse planetary. Now for a high volume oil pump, the oil is supposed to come out of the oil pump into the filter. It'll come out a T in the filter. One end of the T goes to the pressure relief valve. The other end of the T goes to the engine. Um, this one isn't plumbed correct for either style. How they've got this thing set up, which is kind of a new one on me, is it's coming out of the oil pump. It's going to a T in the oil filter, not a single line, but it's going to a T in the filter. The other side of the T is going to the pressure relief valve. And apparently the pressure relief valve then is creating the pressure that's filling oil into the oil filter, forcing the oil out the other side of the oil filter. And finally the oil goes to the engine. Um, can't say I've ever seen one actually plumbed up like this before, but it's not correct for low volume. It's not even correct for high volume. So I'm gonna pull the filter off this. And when I start the series, probably next year of getting this tractor running, uh, I'll go ahead and replumb it and put another filter on it before I even start to get it running. So just thought I'd drop a real quick video um, and show you, you know, just another way that uh, that somebody decided to get creative on routing oil lines in an early Model L. Uh, thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on another episode.